Hey everybody, we're out here at the SEMA show, Rev and Evan, with Teresa Contreras, yeah. and she had her hands on this awesome 68 Bronco that is owned by Jay Leno. Yep. And it did not look like this when you guys got started, correct? Oh no, it didn't. No, uh, Craig Ferguson actually gave the Bronco to Jay as a joke. Oh, wow. um, and it had uh, flares on it. It was kind of a butchered up, you know. It was, a it was a convertible, so, removable top. Yep, it had yep, a soft the top on it. Yep, it was yep, red. Yep. It is now tonight blue, so you can put two and two together on that one. I don't know if the camera really shows it, but it is gorgeous. Uh, metal flake, it is really, really beautiful. Yep. But this truck goes well beyond the paint. First, let's show you the interior. And while we're checking this out, Teresa, this yeah. thing is fully restored or restified. You'll notice the first thing that happened when you open the door, running boards drop down yep. like a brand new vehicle. Yep. So, so what we wanted is, is we really wanted the sleeper. That, that's like Jay's thing, you know, is that he, he wants you to come up and look at this vehicle and look like it was something out of 1968. But at the same time, he loves to drive his vehicles and he loves to go fast. Well, it so, looks stock. I mean, so it looks stockish. That's the goal. That was totally the goal. But, but we're, we're adding nice new, you know, comforts to it. Like right, this. it sits so, up high, so, so that makes it yep. easy to climb in. Exactly. Beautiful leather interior. Yep. Um, all these nice upgrades. Spartan interior though. I mean, it's, yeah, it's got right? the factory look with the just a painted dash, Love original that. steering wheel. That. Yeah. Um, very, very basic. Of course, there's a little giveaway in that it looks like it has a controls pack gas pedal. There you go. So yeah. we want to take a look yeah. under the hood because this does oh, not have a 302. Sure. No, no. All this right. has the new GT500. Oh boy, let's check it out. 760 horsepower. All right, so let's take a peek. Beautiful badging. This is the original style badge. Look, this has got to be uh, 3D printed, It right? is, it is, yeah. So um, what you don't see is there's all like the intercoolers and everything like that. All of this is hidden. Um, we try to keep it so it still looks like, you know, the stock engine bay and everything. Right. Very clean, very classic, but then really raw for this motor. You know, you're talking about a motor that has 760 horsepower, you know? Right, um, but it doesn't have like anodized fittings. Nope. It's as if it, Ford would have built right? this today. Exactly. It looks like something you just put in a race car and want to go run right away. Yep, so like stock style bumpers. So what we did, actually there's a lot done to the front, but it's very, very, uh, Done in done in a more concept type way. So so on the bumper, it's usually like a guardrail style bumper. It's right. just a straight one. So we took the bumper, but we modified it. And we actually we did this at our shop, um, and we modified it to the body line so that you just notice the curves and stuff like that. Right now, this represents the, your company, right? Yes, it is. Which yes. is what? LGE CTS Motorsports, one San Dimas. Okay. Um, so we did the, the the build at our shop as far as like um, the bodywork, the paint, um, the final assembly of everything. Right. Um, and so this grill too, it's actually 3D printed and oh. and metal. So wow. we actually use the metal grill. Um, there's 3D printed parts here, so it gives it a more upgraded um, style and look to it. Right. Um, but we were really looking for like it's like something you would build as a concept in 1968. You know, right. Something so like that. This thing does not have stock suspension. No, it doesn't. I, I noticed a bunch of Fox that, uh, shocks on there, coilovers. Let's, yeah. let's walk around the side. Yeah. We'll give you um, a nice close up of some of that stuff. Yeah. But So, Kinser uh, chassis, they did the whole chassis. Stock look on the wheels, but bigger in diameter. Yeah, we actually went with a Detroit steel wheel. It looks kind of classic and stuff, but sure. at the same time upgraded it, yeah. I'm a big a fan of the dog dish hubcaps yeah, on, right? the, on the painted steel wheel. Right. Really cool look. Totally cool. Had to go with BFG. It was very classic for the sure. day and stuff. Um, but yeah, when you look at that suspension, definitely not stock, you know. We have the Fox coilovers on there. Uh, Kinsert chassis mm -hmm. did the whole chassis. They built a beautiful, beautiful chassis. Right. Um, they did. So we have actually have a Tremec manual chassis. Transmission. Okay, it's a five um, speed, right? Yeah. Um, and then we also have a dual exhaust in the back, too. So okay. the thing sounds beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you can see the just the uh, almost like rhino lining. Or I yeah. doubt that's even undercard. Yeah. Like kind of like that Spartan look, like you kept mentioning too, and stuff. You know, that's what we're going for. Right, stainless headers. The thing yep. is, uh, the thing is absolutely beautiful. Is the top still removable? Yeah. So it ha does have a hard top, but you can uh -huh. remove it. Um, we did do a roll bar inside, and, and that roll bar attaches to the front windshield frame as well. So. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing from the mirrors to the look to the wheels. 
even the where the exhaust comes out, it's really period correct. Yeah, that's what we were kind of going for. But but again, something that maybe was like a concept during that period. Right, and would absolutely smoke all four tires in, in four-wheel <laughs> yes, drive, right? Yes, right? That's cool. For sure, for sure. Cool. Well, thank you so much for yeah. showing us the vehicle. Yeah, and uh, we'll have to check it out with Jay at some point, but maybe he'll give us a ride. Oh, for sure. Cool.